Hello, my dear brothers and sisters, may the peace of the Lord Jesus rest upon your lives and your families. You are welcome here to God's revelations, and I am here to share with you another spiritual message that God has placed in my heart just for you. We are living in a world filled with chaos and endless demands. Every day, it feels like we must work twice as hard to meet all our obligations. It's as though there is always something more to resolve, and the burdens just keep piling up. But I am here to tell you today, calm down. Be patient. The work that God has begun in your life, he will complete, despite your circumstances. Trust in this promise. Even when you feel overwhelmed or unsure, God is still working in your life and through you. So, stay with me because today's message will touch your heart. I know many of you are enduring hardships. Just like the men and women in the Bible faced suffering, often even greater than what you're experiencing, they did not lose hope, and neither should you. Don't think it's over or that God hasn't responded, he is still in control. Sometimes, what we lack is perseverance. The Bible speaks often about perseverance, and it teaches us that through trials, we gain experience and grow in endurance. Maybe what you're going through now is meant to strengthen you, to prepare you for the challenges ahead. Trust me, brothers and sisters, the problems of this world will never cease, but as you face future challenges, you will be more equipped and mature to handle them. This is God's plan for you, to grow and develop in faith. Even if it feels like your life is stuck in a routine, know that if you are grounded in the word and faithful in prayer, your spiritual life will grow, and it will affect every area of your life. It may feel like you're walking in circles, doing the same things day after day, but if you're walking with Jesus, you're actually growing upwards, like in a spiral. Though it seems like nothing is changing now, one day, you will look back and realize just how far you've come. So, continue seeking God's presence, and you will notice a drastic change in how you relate to others and how you live. This transformation won't happen because of me, but because of the power of God's word working in you. The word of God is powerful and able to change our lives. Now, I want to share a powerful scripture with you from the book of James, chapter 5, verse 7. Be patient, brothers, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient until it receives the early and late rains. You too must be patient and strengthen your hearts for the coming of the Lord is near. Brothers and sisters, just like the farmer patiently waits for the seed to grow and produce fruit, we too must wait for God's promises to be fulfilled in our lives. Many people pray today and expect results by tonight. But our prayers are seeds planted in God's field, and he knows the right time for them to bear fruit. Sometimes, we pray for things that may take a lifetime to see, and that's okay. I've even heard of people praying for years without seeing the result, and in their weariness, they lost hope. But we must not give up. The Bible says that perseverance leads to character, and character leads to hope. Those who went before us endured much suffering, but they remained patient. Job, for example, faced unimaginable losses, yet he persevered and was blessed even more in the latter part of his life than in the beginning. This is the promise we hold on to, that God will bring about his blessing in due time. Our task is to remain steadfast, to keep praying, and to trust that his timing is perfect. As we wait, it's crucial to cultivate patience. 
Just like Job, who suffered the loss of his children and his wealth, we must understand that suffering is part of life, but it's not the end of the story. When Job prayed for his friends, God restored him and gave him even more than he had before. This is the power of intercessory prayer, brothers and sisters. When we pray for others, God brings healing and restoration into our own lives. So, as you continue to sow seeds of faith through prayer, know that you are moving closer to the harvest. God is working even when we cannot see it, and at the right time, you will reap the rewards of your faith. I encourage you today, be patient. Keep seeking the Lord in prayer. Just as the morning comes after the darkest part of the night, so too will joy come after your season of struggle. The key to unlocking miracles in your life is faith, and the key to keeping those miracles is patience. God will not rush his plans due to our impatience, but he will grant us peace and joy as we wait. And during this journey, you will discover new depths of his grace and mercy. Let's remain focused on the process, enjoying the small victories along the way, knowing that God is faithful to complete the good work he began in us. Brothers and sisters, if this message has spoken to you, leave a comment below, and share how God is touching your heart through this prayer. Your testimony will encourage others to keep the faith. Don't forget to click that like button and share this prayer with others so that the word of God may continue to reach more hearts. Let's pray together now, asking God to fill our hearts with faith, patience, and a renewed spirit to continue trusting in his promises, no matter the circumstances. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning, filled with gratitude for the gift of another day. Lord, we thank you for watching over us through the night, for the breath in our lungs, and for the blessing of a new beginning. As the sun rises, we ask that your light would fill our hearts, guiding our every step and decision throughout the day. Father, we lift up our lives to you today, knowing that you are the source of all wisdom, peace, and strength. We ask for your divine guidance in every choice we make. Direct our paths so that we may walk according to your will and bring glory to your name in everything we do. Help us to remain humble, to seek your will first, and to trust in your perfect plan for our lives. Lord, we ask for your strength to face any challenges that may come our way today. Equip us with the courage to stand firm in our faith, to resist temptation, and to remain patient in the face of trials. May we lean on you when we feel weak, knowing that your power is made perfect in our weakness. Surround us with your presence, that we may not fear the unknown but trust that you are already ahead, making a way for us. Father, we lift up our families, friends, and loved ones to you this morning. We ask for your hand of protection to be upon them, guarding their hearts and minds from harm. Bless their endeavors, provide for their needs, and fill their lives with your peace. Strengthen the bonds of love between us, that we may be a reflection of your love to those around us. Lord, we ask for your favor to go before us today in our workplaces, schools, and homes. Open doors of opportunity that no one can shut, and close doors that are not from you. Give us the wisdom to discern your voice amidst the noise of the world, and grant us the boldness to walk in obedience to your calling. We surrender our worries, anxieties, and burdens to you this morning, knowing that you care for us deeply. Fill our hearts with peace that surpasses all understanding. Remind us that you are the God who provides, who heals, and who makes all things new. 
We trust you with our futures, knowing that you have good plans for us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Lord, we ask that you would bless us with joy today, a joy that comes from knowing we are your children, loved and cherished by you. Help us to see your hand at work in the small moments, and to be grateful for the blessings that surround us. Fill us with compassion for those we encounter, that we may be a light in their lives, reflecting the love and kindness that you have shown us. Finally, Father, we ask that you would anoint this day with your presence. Let us feel your Holy Spirit guiding and comforting us in every moment. We commit this day to you, knowing that in your hands, it will be a day of purpose, growth, and blessing. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would forgive us for the times we have strayed from your path. Cleanse our hearts from any unrighteousness and purify our thoughts, words, and actions. Help us to walk in humility, recognizing our need for your grace daily. Teach us to forgive others as you have forgiven us, and to extend mercy to those who have wronged us. Let us be vessels of your love, quick to show kindness, and slow to anger. As we navigate this day, Lord, help us to be mindful of your presence in every moment. When we are tempted to rush through our tasks, remind us to pause and seek your face. When we are overwhelmed, help us to cast our burdens upon you, for you care for us. And when we experience joy and success, let us give you all the glory, for you are the source of all blessings. Father, we ask for a special anointing of your Holy Spirit this morning. Fill us afresh, Lord. Let your Spirit guide us in all truth and empower us to walk in obedience to your word. Give us ears to hear what the Spirit is saying and eyes to see your hand at work in our lives. May we walk in step with your Spirit today, bearing fruit that will last, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Lord, we pray for the world around us. So many are hurting, broken, and lost. Use us as your hands and feet today, to bring comfort, healing, and hope to those in need. Let us not pass by those who are suffering, but instead be moved with compassion, offering a word of encouragement, a helping hand, or a silent prayer. May our lives be a reflection of your love and light in this dark world. Father, we thank you for the miracles you have already prepared for us today. Help us to have eyes of faith, expecting to see your goodness in our lives. Let us walk in the joy of knowing that you are a God who makes all things possible. Increase our faith today, Lord, to believe for the impossible, to hope in the unseen, and to trust in your perfect timing. As this day unfolds, we place all our worries, fears, and doubts into your capable hands. We trust you with our present and our future, knowing that you are a good father who desires to bless his children. Thank you for your unfailing love, your unchanging faithfulness, and your never-ending grace. We pray all of this in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. If this prayer touched your heart, don't forget to like this video and share it with others who may need a word of encouragement today. Your support helps us reach more souls and spread the message of hope and faith. To stay connected with us and receive more uplifting prayers and spiritual guidance, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss a new video. Also, be sure to check out our other videos for more prayers. Amen.